What's up, Anna Fantasy Stick from Ignite from UltimateJordaBlogspot.com. With me, I got the Xenon HD Jellybean Brom for you Galaxy Nexus GSM Verizon users. Unfortunately, this does not support v Sprint, so that is big down. Sorry, guys, this is the developers of this team have not made support for Sprint. But anyway, all you GSM Verizon, that's a big thumbs up. Woo! <laughs> so, anyway, let's actually take a look into it. Right away, if you're wondering how to install this RAM and you want to know how do I install it, maybe you're a new beginner or whatever, you can look right there on how to install this specific RAM. All the files in the description are in the description of that video as well, and as well as this one too. So anyway, let's actually just take a quick look into it. Let's look in settings first, see all the versions and everything if you're on a different version, possibly. And you can see in your Android version 4.1.1, you got a kernel version, mod version, and build version. So it is on the... 9112 if you guys are wondering so let's actually take a look at some features and settings so right away it is somewhat similar to AOKP so let me go into ROM settings and let's go into uh, all these are offered into AOKP as well except AOKP offers abundance amount much more amount a plethora amount there let's do text only uh, let's do it Icon centered, so you might be able to pick that up. Uh, there you go. You can pick it up the camera. So you got a number and the battery icon as well in there. Let's do battery thickness. Let's actually do 4 dB. So you can see now it is thicker. Let's do make it thinner, and now you can see that it's thinner. You probably can't really notice this since you're watching it from a video. You you have to get that hands on to make it actually look at it. Let's change look into toggles. And this one is actually offering an AOKP as well. I do remember all this. Let's actually add some more torch, NFC, and tether. So now you got a ton of more. So let's, let's just turn on flash. There you go. You got, let me turn it on. Now you got flash on there. Whoa, that's cool. Oh. <laughs> so now you got flash on the actual phone. You can in the toggle. So this ROM offers a ton of AOKP-like modifications that you could do to your ROM hands-on. You don't have to be technical or anything with this. It's pretty basic and even explains what it does, what it offers in, in each specific setting as well. So that is another great feature from this. This ROM does offer secret sauce, which is supposed to make your ROM or make your phone last really long, all the battery life lasts really long, really good speed. Now this RAM is liquid smooth, smooth as any other RAM, maybe even possibly smooth. It's liquid smooth, flawless, and it is rock rock stable, no problems at all, not a single problem. Now they did improve recently the GPS, so you get a better GPS fix, fix on your phone if you are if you have impatient with that as well as a camera so let's actually take a look into the camera and see I know dude they did speed it up so I actually just take out my Garmin phone I had the worst Android phone and my first Android phone I've ever gotten so let's actually take a few pictures it should go fairly quick as you can see it goes pretty quick as you can see as you can see it is focusing so it is taking a little bit more but if it wasn't focusing if I did turn off autofocus, it would take pictures fairly, fairly quick, especially from this type of phone. So, either way, this is a great rock stable ROM, ton of features, great battery life, great performance overall. It's probably one of the best ROMs in the XDA forum so far. I've been taking, I've been doing a lot of recent ROM reviews. I would highly recommend you do this one as well and you try it out. Let me see what you think. Leave your, leave your thoughts on this ROM in the description below because I think it's a great ROM as well so let me just do a quick quiet and score and let's see what the score gets if you're a type of performance person all right got but uh, quadrant benchmarks all set up so I'm starting it right now I will be back when this is complete and let's see what score it gets all right just finished up let's see actually what score it got and let's see if it's up to your standards. So it did score 1,976. So I'm, I am pretty sure AOKP scored 1,269 if my memory is correct. I do believe that is the correct number for the latest Jelly Bean AOKP official one. So it is higher than AOKP. 
like I said earlier, it does offer some of the features AOKP offers, but not everything. So if you do love some of the features AOKP offers, but not everything, and you'd rather have it more smooth and quicker with some of the AOKP features, I would highly recommend you get this. Flawless, works great, no problems at all, no errors, no crashes, nothing, everything was flawlessly. And they did improve the camera and GPS, so if you use either one of those, this is a great app to actually take pictures with and get faster GPS signal to go on your way faster, you know, get out of here, <laughs> wherever you're from, go out of here faster. It's a great ROM, don't forget to subscribe if you already have it, and rate. Hope you found this ROM review helpful, highly recommend you get it, stable and good to go if you're wondering about getting it. All links, sources, down links in the description below as well. If you need help on any Android device, routing, cloud command recovery, questions about this ROM, anything, you can contact me on Facebook, Google Plus, and Twitter, also, and also my Gmail if you want as well. All links in the description below. Like I said earlier, see you next video. Enjoy this round.